Let's now look at the functionality to actually subscribe ourselves to this list so we can start testing it out. Um, now, the process to do this is as follows. We're going to submit this form, which um, you can see in the markup here is just a form. We've got a post method, so we can pick this up using PHP's post super global. And we are submitting this back to itself. This can obviously go anywhere you like. In this case, we're going to do all of the logic at the top of this page. So we've got two fields here. We've got um, a name field, which is called name. We can identify that within the post super label. And we've got email. Fairly straightforward. So once you've got your form set up, uh, we can go ahead and we can do a little check up here to check if these two values are set. So we want to check if name and email are set. Now if they are, let's store these in variables so we can just quickly reuse them later. And there we go. Now what we need to do is validate this email address using Mailgun's API, as I mentioned earlier, just to make sure that it's a valid email. So we create a validate uh, variable and we call Mailgun validate which is what we set up earlier. So that's in init.php here. Okay, so what we then want to do is use the get method here. And we want to, uh, the endpoint here is address validate. What we then do is pass in an array and we pass in the address. That is the email. Now immediately from this, we want to get the response body like so. And then down here, we want to actually check if it's valid. Now, before we go any further, let's just do a print R on validate. So let's pass in my name and let's pass in my email address and hit subscribe. So that goes through, makes a call to the Mailgun API, and it says here, or this basically returns us with an object, we can see is valid is one. So we know that's valid. Now if we were typing in an email address, like a spammy email address or something like that, or in fact just a, an invalid email address like Alex, and we hit subscribe, uh, you can see is valid is empty. So we can use this to check. So we can say if validate is valid, then we can go ahead and we can do what we want. Now you might want to add an else here to maybe add an error somewhere or forward the user somewhere telling them that something went wrong. Uh, but in this case, we won't bother here. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to create a hash. Um, and this basically takes the list the secret uh, phrase that we added in init.php here. And this will also take an email address, which is the user's email address. Now this will generate a unique hash, which will allow the user to then confirm their subscription by email. So we want to call the mailgun opt-in uh, method. And there's a method that chains onto this called generate hash. So remember we did this here. This is the opt-in handler. So the opt-in handler uh, deals with generating these hashes. So we say mailgun opt-in generate hash. So the parameters we need are the mailgun list. Again, that's stored here. So the actual list that we want to subscribe the user to, mailgun list. And we also want to pass in the secret, as I mentioned, mailgun secret. And we want to pass in the user's email address. So again, let's do a print R on hash and we'll see what this contains. Or we can just echo it actually because it's literally just going to be a string. So let's uh, refresh this page and let's enter some valid information here. And hit subscribe. And that gives us back this rather long hash. So this hash we can then pass through to an email. The way this is going to work is we're going to use the mailgun send message method to send an email to the user confirming their subscription. We're then going to forward them to our confirm page. And in our confirm page, we can pick up this hash, check it against the API, 
and then add them as a confirmed subscriber to this list. So we want to say Mailgun send message and all this does is it just sends an email to the user. The first parameter is the domain. We store this again as a um, constant here. So that's just our, our domain, whether it's the sandbox or a domain that you've added. So we say Mailgun domain and then we have an array with the parameters that we want to send through to the API. In this case, we want to choose a from address, and I'm going to say this is from no reply at phpacademy.org. And we also have a to address. This is fairly uh, straightforward. It's just the user's email that they've typed in. The subject of the email, this can be anything. Um, please confirm your subscription to us. And then last but not least is the message so you can either provide a text message here so text or HTML in this case I'm going to provide HTML because what I want to do is I want to send in here hello name I just want to quickly replace these uh, variables in we can do a couple of line breaks here and we can say you signed up to our mailing list and this can come from anywhere. It could be a template, a separate file that you've stored that you can include in um, or anything. So please confirm below. So we're just going to, uh, let's just do a couple more line breaks here. And we want to basically forward the user to our confirm page. So if we look inside of here, we have this confirm.php page. So let's copy and paste this into here. This is going to be wherever your confirm file is. And we're going to put the, uh, we're going to create a get or in the query string, we're going to pick this up using get. So we say hash equals hash like that. So that's the hash that we generated here. So now that we've done that, that's going to send an email to the user and it's going to confirm their subscription. Fairly straightforward, but we're not finished quite yet. What we want to do is actually add the user to our uh, mailing list before. So the reason that we're adding them before is at least we can then add them as a non-subscribed user and then we can update that later when they can confirm their subscription. So we're just going to say mailgun post and the endpoint here is lists and this is going to be our mailgun list so I'll just put an x there for now forward slash members. So in place of X, let's go ahead and concatenate on, probably guessed, mailgun list. So now this takes an array and we can pass through all of the information we need to. So we're going to pass in the user's name. That's just their name. We're going to pass in the user's email address, which is obviously their email address. And we're going to set the subscribed here, let's just uh, indent these a little, to no. So this is going to add the user, and then all we're going to do is forward to the current uh, directory. So this would obviously, in place of what I'm doing now, you would put something like a redirect to a page telling the user they've subscribed. So let's test this out. Bear in mind that inside of our mailing lists uh, here, when we click on this, we can see the mailing list recipients. After I've submitted this subscribe form, you will see the user added here, hopefully. So let's enter my full name and my email address. Now remember, this is also going to send me an email allowing me to confirm. So if I hit subscribe now, Okay, that looks like it was okay. So let's head over to mailing lists and just refresh. And there we go. There's my email address, my full name, and my subscription status. In this case, I'm currently unsubscribed. But I've now received an email asking me to confirm my subscription, and it's got the full URL to the confirm.php file, and it includes the hash. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to click on this and I'm going to pull this over here. We're now going to create the functionality which reads in this hash and uh, validates the hash and then allows to us to confirm our subscription. So what we need to do inside of here then is if we go over to confirm.php, we're not doing anything in here, but we are including all of the functionality that we need in. 
obviously the first thing that we want to do is we want to check if this hash is actually set. So we're just going to check if that's set like that. And then we're going to say hash is, and we're going to use again the mail gun opt in method to validate the hash. Remember last time we used it to generate the hash inside of subscribe here. Now we're validating that hash. So we need to pass in the mailgun secret. This is where the uh, basically the secret gets paired up and we can check that this is valid. And we then pass in the hash. So once we've done that, what we can then do is do a print R on hash and see what it gives us. So let's hit refresh and you can see it gives me the details about uh, my subscription. If we get say one character wrong in here, let's just add an X in front of this, we get nothing. So that this means that this can only be confirmed by the user that's received the email. So now that we have uh, validated the hash, what we can do is we can actually um, check this. So if we do a var dump on hash, you can see that we get an array back. If we type a wrong thing, it says false. So we can use this in an if statement. So in here, we're going to say if hash. And inside of here, we can then start to extract the information. The first thing we need is the list. Remember, this is an array. So we can take from it the uh, mailing list. So if we just copy that, paste that into there. And we take the user's email. And that is recipient address. So we take that and we paste that into there. So now that we've done that, we need to update the user's subscription status. So we say mailgun put and the endpoint here is lists and then the mailgun list and members and then forward slash the member email address. So we'll put Y there. So for the list, we know that we've got this stored as a constant. So we can just say mailgun list. And for the member, we know that's the email address. So we can concatenate on the email that we took from here. So now we can pass an array here with the options that we want to update. In this case, it is literally just the subscribed status. Subscribed, yes. So remember here, we did subscribe no. Now, once we validated this, we're doing subscribe yes. Now, what we want to do is send an email to tell the user that they're now subscribed and thank them. So we're going to say mailgun send message, exactly the same functionality as we did here. Here. Um, so mailgun send message. We need to provide the domain, which is obviously this domain, our sandbox domain, and we then pass in an array of, uh, of parameters. So from again is just going to be no reply at phpacademy.org and two is obviously going to be to the user's email, which we extracted here. The subject can be whatever you want. And then we have the body, which is going to be HTML, or it could just be text in this case. It really doesn't matter. There we go. And that's it. So after we've done that, we're going to just redirect to the current folder. In your case, you would probably say to your user, thanks for confirming, uh, maybe do something else. So in this case now, when we're going to refresh this, our hash is going to be validated here. We're going to update the user's subscription status and we can check that from the mailgun control panel and we then send an email so we can check both of these things. So if we refresh now, that redirects us back. Let's go over to the mailing list and hit refresh. And you can see that the subscription status has changed from unsubscribed to subscribed. And we've also received the email saying, thanks for confirming you're now subscribed. So we have now successfully subscribed a user to our mailing list. We've done it in a nice fashion, which means they have to confirm their subscription so people can't sign other people up. 
and uh, they get a nice friendly email when they've subscribed. So what we're next going to look at is actually sending out this email to everyone that has subscribed to this list. And it's really easy. 